Welcome to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts. In this podcast, we'll talk about the impacts that artificial intelligence applications may have in our workplaces and how policymakers and legislators in the EU will need to ensure that it works for us instead of against us. Like the steam engine, electricity and semiconductors in the past, artificial intelligence is set to transform our workplaces in countless ways. And the transformation is already underway. Artificial intelligence. Almost autonomous robots and drones can already be seen moving parts and pieces around factories. 3D smart glasses allow workers to perform their tasks more effectively. And smart clothing can alert them of bad body postures, even fight bacteria to which they're exposed. The integration of AI tools and applications means that some machines have acquired new responsibilities, even autonomy and are being expected to display some degree of human intelligence. I understand. Even make decisions about workers themselves. The difference with previous waves of mechanization is that this time, AI is replacing mental tasks rather than physical ones. It's helping doctors improve diagnosis and find the best treatments, or architects make the best design choices. And some companies already rely on algorithms and AI to distribute tasks monitor workers and evaluate their performance. But notwithstanding the potential to help workers and increase performance, health and safety at work, the integration of AI into the workplace could also create new problems. It could spur new forms of management control or gain access to more privacy-sensitive data. So the challenge for businesses, HR departments and public authorities is to reflect on how to reap the full benefits of AI while protecting workers from undesired effects. Companies will need to carefully consider how AI may best serve their needs, taking into account workers' concerns and employment rights. Moreover, the best tools won't come cheap and will require investments in material and personnel, as well as adjustments to new working methods. So, before embracing AI, better be sure about the potential gains. Another challenge is that the functionality of many forms of AI at work remains uncertain. When AI distributes tasks, monitors workers, and evaluates their performance, how do we know it's coming to the right conclusions, that it makes the best decisions? It's easy for AI to collect data, but much trickier to interpret it, especially without human interference. So, instead of blindly trusting this technology, employers would better involve workers and their representatives when important decisions need to be made. Another challenge, especially for European policymakers, is to ensure that AI technologies become accessible to all. And there's more. AI will bolster the datification of work, making data protection and privacy rights all the more important as a counterweight. But many of these drawbacks can be counteracted through good regulation. Here's Nira Kulyanik from the European Parliamentary Research Service. Protecting fundamental and human rights needs to be at the heart of the EU response to the use of artificial intelligence in the workplace. The EU Charter of Fundamental Rights and the GDPR already provide good frameworks to mitigate the potential negative consequences of the use of artificial intelligence at work. Functioning and goals of AI depend on the data available, so data protection laws can effectively establish boundaries if adequately enforced. What's clear is that many of the current laws will need to be adapted to the challenges AI poses and effective enforcement mechanisms set in place. In this sense, the Artificial Intelligence Act proposed by the European Commission, the first law on AI by a major regulator anywhere in the world, could bolster the effectiveness of other laws governing AI. But with the current approach, the proposal may end up curtailing the existing work protection systems instead of enhancing them. Furthermore, if the aim is to regulate AI at work effectively, EU policymakers should keep the many other existing laws in mind and see how the new AI Act could complement them rather than override them. Because in the end, the way we approach AI, not only in the workplace but everywhere, will define the world in which we live in the future – And we want a world where people and businesses can enjoy the benefits of AI while feeling safe and protected. Want to know more? Check out the STOA study on the EPRS website or in our app. This is a European Parliamentary Research Service podcast. Thanks for listening.